Hi everyone and welcome to another inventor part modeling exercise. This one is taken from Fusion 360 monthly challenge way back September 2016. Let's now head back to inventor. Let's head up to our upper left and select new. In the challenge, it says the units in millimeter gram second. So let's set to templates and expand en-us. Head to metric, double left click. Definitely this challenge is not a sheet metal. So let's select standard millimeter dot IPT. Double left click. We are currently in front view, so let's head to our view cube and select home view. I want my part when we select home view to be the same as the challenge. Let's now enter sketch mode. I can head up and select start 2D sketch or I can enter sketch mode by hitting L on my keyboard. L being the line command, so now we are prompted to select a plane to create our sketch. So let's sketch on our XZ plane, selecting this plane, left click. Notice we are now at the top view, and in addition, I would like to rotate this view. Let me rotate this counterclockwise by selecting this curved arrow, left click. Let's span by holding our mouse wheel. Let's create our first vertical line. Left click here to place our point to move down. Notice the dimension on the right is currently highlighted. I can key in our target value which is 178. And notice the inferred vertical constraint below. I'm going to hit enter. Hit escape to disable line command and zoom out. Next, I prefer to position my line with respect to our origin. So I'm going to grab a constraint by heading up and selecting coincident. Let's locate the midpoint of this vertical line. So hovering over here, notice this green dot left click and select our origin left click let's zoom in and hit escape to disable the constraint a while ago when we haven't placed our dimension and constraint notice the color of our line was in blue and now it turned into black so when it's in black it is considered as fully defined so notice i cannot move our vertical line anymore. Moving forward, let's create an arc over here. So heading to create, selecting three point arc. Let's left click on the endpoint of our vertical line. Left click here, left click here, and left click here. Hitting escape. Let's now dimension this arc. I'm going to hit D. The shortcut for dimension, selecting our arc. Let's place our dimension here, left click. Now in the 2D drawing, we have a diameter of 76. In this instance, we are placing a radius dimension. So I'm going to type in 76 divided by 2. So here I am showing you that we can perform a mathematical operation inside the dimension field hitting enter moving forward let's place a tangent constraint between our arc and our line so heading up to constraint selecting tangent selecting our arc and our vertical line next i want to align the endpoint of our arc horizontally with the endpoint of our vertical line. 
To do that, let's head up to Constraint, Selecting Horizontal, selecting this point and this point. Hitting Escape. Next, let's grab our line once more. And this time, I'm going to show you a hidden trick. So hitting L4 line, let's create a vertical line over here. So left click, left click here. And to create an arc, I can hover over this existing endpoint, left click and hold. So now we are creating an arc inside the line command. In addition, notice the inferred tangent so right now I'm going to release and still notice we are in the line command and from here I can create a slot left click here head back to this endpoint left click and hold to create an arc and connect or select this endpoint over here hitting escape now with that in mind Let's apply this new technique over here. So I'm going to hit L for line. Left click at the endpoint of this arc. Move down. So notice the inferred vertical constraint. Left click. Head back to our endpoint. Left click and hold to create an arc and connect this to this other endpoint. Hitting escape. And let's now delete this other slot over here so let me create a window selection left click and hold release and hit delete for neatness let me move our dimension so selecting this left click and hold and place it over here let's now create two circles here so the shortcut for creating a circle is pressing control shift and C all together. So let's place our center point at the center point of this arc and key in 38. So repeating the procedure, heading over here, key in 38, hit enter. With our sketch fully defined or fully constrained, let's now extrude this profile by hitting E for extrude. Selecting this profile, pulling this arrow up to give this a height. And to be exact, I'm going to key in 26 and hit enter or hit OK. Heading to home view. Moving forward, we have a spot face here. So let's grab our circle once more and head to the sketch workspace so pressing control shift C and for the plane or face let's select this face hovering over the center point of this circle and key in 57 heading to the other side left click here and key in 57 Let's now hit E for extrude, selecting these two profiles, pulling our arrow down, and this one to be one millimeter deep. Selecting OK. Next, let's create another feature and grab our line command or line tool hitting L. And uh, my target plane is to sketch on our X, Y plane. So I'm going to our origin and select X, Y plane. In addition, if you want to see the cross section of our model, I can hit F7 on my keyboard. So hitting F7 toggles it on and off. Let me grab our line tool once more, hitting L, head to this corner. So notice the green dot, left click, 
move to the right. I will not enter any value right now. Instead, I'm going to left click, head up. This time, key in 50. Move over here, left click, left click here, and move down. Selecting this corner, left click, and hit escape. Let's now add constraints. So heading up, selecting vertical, and select this line. Let's grab our dimension, hitting D, selecting this vertical line, and this vertical line. Place our dimension here. And for B, it's 1, 2, 7. Hitting enter. In addition, on our drawing, under given, it is A parameter. So we have an A, which is 76, B4127. Let's alter or change our dimension to be a parameter. So with 127, I'm going to double left click. I'm going to type in B equal to 127. Hitting enter. Now to access this parameter, we need to head to manage, selecting parameters. So here, our dimension 127 is now named B. So if ever we want to change this value, so notice, let me change this to 120. Hit enter and select done. Notice here it updates to 120. So reverting back. Hitting Control Z to undo. Moving forward, let's add the angular dimension here. But first, we need to create a line. So hitting L, create a line, horizontal line here. Hitting Escape. So this one is just a construction. So let's turn this into a construction line. Selecting this line, right click and select Construction. Let's now hit D for dimension, selecting this line, this line, place our dimension here, key in 45, and hit enter. And finally, let's dimension this horizontal line, selecting this, head up, and key in 38. Our sketch is not yet a profile. To show you, I can hit E. So, Inventor is not detecting any profile. Selecting Escape to cancel. Heading to Front View. Let's now head to Sketch and select Project Geometry. Let's project the geometry or the edge of this feature. So, selecting this vertical edge and this horizontal edge so left click and from here let's turn off section view i can now hit e for extrude and hover over our profile selecting this let's select symmetric for direction let's pull this arrow to the left and a key in or type in A equal to 76. Selecting OK and heading to Home View. Now to create the feature at the middle of our model, I'm going to head to our XY plane, right click and let's create a new sketch. Hitting F7 for section view. I'm going to select our project geometry and project this edge. Next, grab our offset. Select this projected edge. I will not enter any value right now, so left click. Hitting escape. Head to our constraint, selecting coincident, selecting this endpoint, and 
this horizontal edge. So notice the green color. Left click. Same on this side. Selecting this endpoint and this vertical green edge. Hit D for dimension. Select this point and this endpoint. Move up and key in 26. Hitting enter. So it now turned into black, meaning it's fully defined. We can now hit E for extrude. Selecting or the profile has already been selected. So under behavior direction, selecting symmetric, key in 26. And for the output, it's a cut Boolean operation. Selecting OK. To finish this off, let's hit F to grab our fillet. Let's now select some edges. So selecting this edge, this edge, this edge. This edge, this edge, this edge. Looking nice. And for the radius, keying in 6. And selecting OK. Heading to Home View. And congratulations for completing this Inventor part modeling exercise. And from here, thank you. And I'm wishing you and your family a happy new year.